The things we do for Elkie guys, I was driving home from Lewis Town in Kalispell. I decided to stop and glass up a spot that we looked at a couple weeks ago when Sean shot his bull. He's about to peel over there, or peel out of there. When I spotted a look like a nice bull. I'm just hiking in solo. If we get him on the ground, I'm gonna need back up because this is bad. This is real bad. So See what, see what happens when we get up there. Unless I die before we get up there, so that might happen. So where I marked him at, about a half a mile from my odd X mark. That's a rough guess to make, because I don't know if that's exactly where it's at, but the wind's all right. The snow is just really, really crunchy snow. So this might be tough to put a stock on him. Two hours later. Oh my fuck! Oh my god, guys, he's down. He's down. That, oh my, he's down. Oh. He's down. I don't know if you guys gathered it from the first four times I said it, but he is indeed down. That was two hours of waiting. Two hours. And he's down. I sat here for two and a half hours. I freeze my ass off. He had been napping, he'd been on and off napping, and finally, finally he got up. I just watched him dump. I got, I think I hit him the first shot, and then he was kind of hanging out. I, had, I shot him again, and he flopped over. I watched him tip over, so, yes. All right, we're going to get up top, get all my shit rounded up, call for some backup. Oh, guys, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. Yes! Nice five by six. He's a nice, nice bull. Nice general. Public land over the counter, do it yourself bull. This is insane. It's gonna be a pack. It won't be lengthwise be bad, but it's gonna be rough. So I got back up on the works. We're gonna try and get him started at least. Try and get him done. Hung up, ready, and then I'll get the rest to rest of my boys to come help me get him out of here but that was awesome he's a beautiful just a probably a 260 to 280 class six point he's actually a six by five he's a nice little bull so i'm stoked man i'm so stoked so we'll try and get some pictures and get them taken care of and get them get them the heck out of here guys, just filling you in. We're on the last leg of the 
getting them out of here. Sorry I didn't film anything while we were breaking them down. It was kind of trying to do it in a rapid manner. The wind was blowing pretty bad up there. And it's chilly, and as you can see, it's blizzarding now. So we got a ham and the head to get to the top, and then it'll be all downhill from there. So we got them out. I'm dying, but oh. we got everything out but the head in one haul. So everything meat-wise is already down at the pickup. <coughs> I'm about 20 yards from my horns from the head. We ended up leaving that up here. I didn't want to kill myself on the way down. This is a steep, slick some some bitch. So we'll get the head. Whew. We'll get the head on my pack and then we'll be out of here. Oh, it's just insane. Insane the work we put in for these things. But it's worth it. It all came together. Definitely testing my patience on just about every aspect sitting there waiting for him for over two hours to get up out of his bed and still i sat there and watched him for two hours and it still seems like it goes by way too fast and you can, you can just <coughs> never enjoy the moment so but we had a blast getting them all all broke down and we ended up making one full trip to this skid road up here which is about half the way back to the pickup and then went back out the head another ham and then got all the meat down there and i'm getting the head so i'm stoked wish i would have got you guys some better footage that's my first solo elk hunt that that i've had since we've been filming so i was honestly really antsy and i was really just waiting for him to i just didn't want to ruin a good opportunity by by putting the camera first i'm sorry about that but there's not much you can do when you find a bull bedded on public land, general elk license. Just don't get much better than that. So we're going to get them the heck out of here and get on the road. So thanks you guys, thanks you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the flip.